Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's good to see uh, a great turnout, and uh, increasingly these days when I go places, it just makes me feel so old, but it's wonderful to see such a, such a young audience here, so great to see you here. Um, my name's Andy Mitchell. I'm Deputy Chief Executive of the Design and Technology Association. Um, one thing we forgot to put on here, I've just realised, is a hashtag. So I'm sure loads of you are into tweeting. So if you would like to put in hashtag DTASOC, stands for D&T Association, DTASOC, I'll certainly be tweeting with that. Um, and you'll see them coming out from the DNT Association. So please get the word out there. We're also live streaming this, so you're not alone. It's being shown um, around the, uh, uh, around the, maybe even the globe, I guess. So um, that's great. We've got people coming in. Um, uh, Debbie, are you um, coping with them? Are they all right for seating? There are seats up upstairs. You might have to go up to uh, the staircase at the back. You can get up. There are more seats at the top. To most of you here, young or older like me, Dick Powell needs no introduction. As one of the most successful and influential British post-war designers, Dick's work and the internationally acclaimed consultancy Seymour Powell is well known to us all. The first cordless electric kettle, the uh, trains, motorbikes, bras, the list goes on. They have created many of the products and services that you interact with on a daily basis, from a shower you wake up with, to the phone you use, the packaging you purchase, and the in-store experience that delights. But like many teachers here, and I hope some students, you will also know Dick um, for his seminal book, Presentation Techniques, a guide to drawing and presentation design ideas. And you'll find that in most D&T departments up and down the country where it's being used um, after all these years. I forget which, what date the first one came out, Dick, but um, <laughs> it's still everywhere, yeah. More recently, Dick has played a major part in supporting our campaigning for the subject against a backdrop of government-led initiatives. Initiatives that, in the worst cases, are meaning that technical creative and artistic subjects are disappearing from the curriculum and they're curtailing, this is curtailing the opportunities and life chances for young people. Something that I find morally wrong and get extremely animated over. As part of the DNT Association campaign, Dick has been instrumental in providing two superb videos about design and technology in the wider world as well as in school to draw attention of decision makers at the highest level to what is actually happening to design and education and the decline of design education in schools. It's something I know he sees as crucial to our country's success in the post-Brexit world that we now occupy or are about to. Both of these are available on our website, of course. We also know that up and down the country, thousands of students have been shown them to inform their GCSE option choices over the last few weeks, and that will go on. Dick, we really appreciate you being here this evening, and we really look forward to your presentation. Dick Powell. Hello, good evening. It's, uh, it's really great to be here. Thank you very much for that, Andy. It's terrific. Um, I'm, as he said, I'm a huge supporter of design and technology in schools and of design education in general. Uh, but when I sat down this afternoon to put this together from my sort of standard stock of slides, I, I thought it would be wise to go and speak to some of the younger people in our studio and say to them, what would you have liked to have heard from me when you were the same age as many of you, either at school or at university afterwards? And that caused me to turn the whole thing upside down this afternoon. So... It's probably going to last a little bit longer than I planned. Um, but it, I start, really, with um, an overview of how I got to where I am, because I think a lot of people 